Hello everyone. Today we're diving into a cool project I stumbled upon during a thrift store adventure. While visiting my mom, I stopped by a thrift store right outside her neighborhood. And that's where I found this unopened mega cyborg hand. This kit was by Thame and Cosmos. For just $4 for a hydraulic hand, say no more, I'm in. Let's crack this box open and build it together. We'll see what it can do, test its capabilities, and maybe even learn a thing or two about engineering along the way. First things first, let's gather the tools we will need. According to the instructions, all we need is a screwdriver and some side cutters. Pretty straightforward, the manual starts us off with the palm rest. This piece is the heart of the hand, where everything connects. Assembling this is like laying the foundation of a house, except instead of bricks, we're using plastic. Once the palm rest is secured, we move on to the main frame, which gives the hand its structure. Think of it as a skeleton that holds everything in place. So far, so good. The instructions are clear and the pieces snap together pretty easily. I'm already feeling like an engineer. Now let's talk about fingers, because what's a hand without fingers? Each finger is made up of multiple joints, and assembling them feels like putting together a little robotic sausages. And that's not weird, right? These fingers are designed to mimic the movement of human joints, which is pretty cool. I'll admit, building these fingers takes some patience, each joint needs to be fit perfectly for the hydraulics to work later. And to save you from watching me fiddle with these tiny parts for hours, I'll skip ahead to the next big step, assembling the hydraulics. Here's where the real fun begins, the hydraulic system. This is what brings this robot hand to life. According to the manual, each cylinder needs to be lubricated first before filling. And instead of water, I'm going to be filling this with coconut oil. It doesn't evaporate. So now we cut the tubing. Three pieces at 12 centimeters each and one longer piece at 34 centimeters. Precision is key here. I used a ruler to make sure the cuts were exact because even a small discrepancy can mess up the flow of liquid. Filling the tubes was surprisingly satisfying. The trick is to get as little air as possible into the system. Air is squishy, but liquids aren't. 
This reminds me of a high school project where we built robot arms using syringes. Back then we learned that liquid-filled syringes had way stronger force than air-filled. I even used the trick of pairing larger syringes with smaller ones to create different mechanical advantages. It's amazing how those same principles are at play in this kit. With the hydraulics, it's time to connect them to the fingers and the main frame. Each hydraulic cylinder controls a specific finger, and routing the tubes feels like performing surgery. The manual has a clear diagram. Once everything is connected, the hand starts to come together. At this point, it looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. The moment of truth is near. Will it work? Now for the grand reveal. Testing the Mega Cyborg hand, the first thing I noticed is how adjustable it is. The straps can fit a variety of hand sizes, which is great for kids and adults alike. I tried to pick up a water bottle and promptly dropped it. Let's just say the learning curve is steep and the tolerances in the mechanism are a bit loose making precise movements difficult. Riding with it? Forget about it. But hey, I'm not giving up that easily. After some practice, I managed to pick up a small lightweight object. The hand isn't going to replace your real one anytime soon, but it's a fun challenge to see what you can do with it. So what's the verdict? Let's break it down. What I liked, the engineering principles are solid with multiple pivots and hydraulic leverage. It's a great way to learn about how hydraulics work. The parts are high quality and the adjustable nature of it makes it accessible to a wide range of users. What could be better? It's not very comfortable to wear for extended periods. The loose tolerances make precise movements almost impossible. The marketing claims about it functioning like an extension of your hand are a bit exaggerated. Was it worth it? For $4, absolutely. Even at its full price of $50 plus, the kit offers a fantastic learning experience for kids or anyone interested in engineering. The build time was about two and a half hours, but it was worth it to see it finished. If you're a 12 year old with a curious mind, this will blow you away. For adults like me, it's more about the nostalgia and the fun of building something cool. Thanks for joining me on this little adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my other projects. Until next time, keep building and learning. See you soon.